So this is it. The end of the line. It's Harvest Junction. Most times I'd be happy to see Ona's friendly face. But these aren't most times. And if Ona knew what was happening on the other side of his umbilical, his face might not be so friendly. That's Solomon Tarvis. He runs things around here. I don't know how he handles bad news. And to tell the truth, I don't want to know. I just need to hit him up for some work, get some supplies, and get out of here. Before the storm hits. Before the bugs come. I was right about the junction. They have no idea they're the last. If they had a clue, I wouldn't be down here rummaging for obsolete gladiator parts. I'd still be unemployed. Ignorance is bliss for at least one of us. Their ignorance, my bliss. So Ona thinks bug zappers are going to be a hot item soon. I wonder if he knows more than he's letting on. Probably not. If he had seen the aftermath at Jared's hold, if he knew about the torn steel, he wouldn't be putting his faith in bug zappers. This is Wick. He and his partner Silas have made this unlikely little corner of their home. You can see they've done a lot of work to cozy up the place too. Before they got here, this place was a dump. Now this I wasn't expecting. Dead Vantir, fresh scintilla blood. Normally a scene like this would fill my four-chambered heart with joy. But since there isn't a corpse to go with all this blood, I'm going to have to make some assumptions. The first of which being that Foe is now a guest of the Vantir. The second of which, and most important, that bringing him back to Tarvis Junction just got a whole lot more complicated. This is not good. The Vantir are expanding again. I don't even have to step through this portal to know what's on the other side. But it's not like I've got a choice now, do I? I'm not worried that the Vantir are torturing Foe. I know they're torturing Foe. I'm worried about what's going to happen to my money if he kicks before I can drag him out of there. This is terrific. Only I could be lucky enough to step into the middle of a Vantir inspection. There's Foe. Just like Wick said. And just like Wick said, I'm too late. That'll teach me to question prophecy. Typical Vantir execution. Burn them fast and let them die slow. There's still time for Foe's last words before I release him from his misery. So Leisha's finally decided to grace us with her presence. She might know something about that key foe was prattling on about. She might even know something about the gladiator that snatched him up. And if she didn't completely hate me, I might even be happy to see her. Say what you will about old Tarvis. The geezer can't keep a secret. If he expects me to believe that he needs a CTM for his helper robot, well, I don't really care what he needs a CTM for. As long as it's not my consciousness he's planning on stealing. And as long as he's willing to pay, I'll find him whatever parts he needs. So this is my little present. I didn't even know Harbinger still had functional shuttles. Still, I should let Smiley know. The next time he's feeling generous. Juan is always appreciated. So this is the new Gladiator model. Fresh off the showroom floor. Foe wasn't kidding. If I can't put this thing down fast, I'm in for a world of hurt. I don't need to go any further. I already know what I'm going to find. I've seen marks like these before. I've been following this creature's path of destruction halfway across this ship. 
but these are different. These marks are fresh. This time I finally caught up with it. This time I'm gonna put it down. Hard. A standing monument to a lifetime of oppression and brutality. If there's any such thing as luck in this universe, my head won't be joining theirs. This is one of those moments. You struggle to find your breath. You just have to take in everything. Scar your mind with every detail, every star, every grain of sand. This is everything, finally. This is home. I've never been one to underestimate Van Tier inventiveness, but converting mining gear to transport goobies, that's not just inventive. If it weren't staring me in the face, I'd tell you it was impossible. Now this is the last place I want to find myself, but I fail to recognize how allowing these monstrosities to be brought aboard Harbinger will cause me anything but grief. This is a relief. There's enough water here to satisfy Ona's thirst. You never know. There may even be enough here to get that smell off Wick. There are very few things in the universe as foul-smelling as a herb cow. Maybe Wick after a righteous milk binge. But accepting Wick, this cow takes the prize. These raids are the worst. If the Simicidae catch me in their labs, they will take me to Tarsus. And if the bugs take me to Tarsus, I will likely die a very slow, very excruciating, and exceptionally messy death, if I'm lucky. What do we have here? Just what I've been looking for. A goo beast with his insides on the outside. Time to grab the Sacculum and vacate. Finally, exactly what I've been looking for. Now just a quick grab and Tarsus will never even know that. Never mind. Alm's guardians stand before me. A vicious mix of Simicidae cunning and Goobies durability. A new species of superbug, the twins. Croton and Capra. We live by unspoken laws here. A deal is made, a deal is kept. Rest easy, Smiley. The death of Ballister will tear Centilla society apart at the seams about half as fast as that key is going to tear this ship apart. It's time to head back to the junction and grab my friends. It's time to head home. This is never easy, watching someone's reality unravel before them, living in the space between despair, denial, and disbelief. The fact that it's a machine makes it all the worse. I don't have the heart to comfort it. I just don't have it in me. Fortunately, I don't have to. Silas. Wick. Silverface. It seems the Overlord took Ballister's death personally. Or alms. It doesn't matter now. He'll be joining them soon. So this is it. The end of the line. I've left a trail of corpses from one end of this ship to the other, just to get here. It's funny how the things you once feared, the nightmares, the monsters, the pain, they're all meaningless now. I have a future. Warm sand beneath my feet, clear skies overhead, cool water for my face, and my friends waiting. Second chances are funny things, you know.
They sneak up on you when you least expect them, pulling you back to the places you left behind, leaving you off balance. And the effect on those around you is worse. Reasonable people possess certain expectations of the recently departed, and strolling through the door as a robotic killing machine is not among them. But as you'll soon see, these are not reasonable times. And the residents of Torvis Junction are far from reasonable people. This is Solomon Torvis, the man responsible for my recent resurrection. So when things turn bloody and unpleasant later, you know who to blame. In another life, Torvis would have been a toy maker. And I don't mean that in a good way. It takes a genuine freak to cater to the whims of the very young. Besides, Torvis still gets to make his toys here. Only now the toys are heavy duty. Very heavy duty. This is Ona. A more money hungry greed hound you're unlikely to find. In another life, Ona would have been a janitor. In fact, I'm reasonably certain he should have been a janitor in this life as well. But the cards have already been dealt. The bet's already placed. It's time to find out who the true players really are. Torvis didn't waste any time putting me to work. I barely got my head straight, and already he's sending me up against Scintilla. The old man's field testing me, putting me through the paces like any other piece of gear. I should probably be offended, but there's plenty of time for that later. For now, let's just see what this new body can do. Bug zappers, bug zappers, bug zappers. If Ona needs bug zappers, then I'll get him bug zappers. There's Uncle Wick, right where he always is, in front of the box. Since he and his partner Silas retired down here, it seems he never moves at all. Same Wick position, same Wick station. He's going to soil himself when he finds out his favorite nephew has become a gladiator. Uh, I should say he's going to soil himself further when he finds out I'm gladiator. What do we have here? Dead Vantier. Fresh scintilla blood. No corpse. It would appear that our friend foe has been taken by the Vantier. The Vantier are expanding again. The blood hungry won't be happy until the whole ship is theirs. My best bet is to croak him, and croak him now. If foe's on the other side of that portal, he's not going to appreciate me lingering here. You never expect to run into a Vantier inspection, but when it happens, you always wonder who's more surprised. Yourself or the Vantier. There's foe, just like Wick said. And I've arrived too late, just like Wick said. I don't want to think about what just happened here. Tunnel vision has set in, and the whole experience is mercifully dim. I know what's left to be done, and I know who's left to do it. I've waited for this moment for too long. For Leisha to finally come back and see me this way. Big. Powerful. The way I always should have been. But now that foe is dead, it all just seems pointless. A waste. Energized Scintilla. Foe used to talk about the energized as if they were gods. But I never dreamed I'd see one up close. I guess Torvis was right. Ballister's prophecies are coming true. Say what you will about Smiley. He's no slouch in the gift gaming department. I didn't even know Harbinger still had shuttles. Whatever this relic was hauling, someone must have thought it was pretty important. Of course, that same someone also thought a Vantier could pilot one of these things. So my hopes aren't high. The 
next generation gladiator model. The sort of vicious, brutal, killing machine only a Vantir would build. Almost makes me wish I had waited a bit longer before getting picked up. This can't be good. These marks are fresh. Whatever tore through this place is likely still lingering. Still gorging on the dead. Let's hope it's not expecting more company. Well, here's an unpleasant surprise. The Vantir have been known to take trophies. But this... This is exceptional. Don't think the irony is lost on me. I spent my whole life on that ship. Surrounded by the same steel walls. Sleeping beneath the same steel ceiling. There was never even any talk of leaving. No serious talk anyway. So I became a gladiator. Now look at me. Standing in sand I can never touch. Embraced by a breeze I will never feel. Stupid irony. Well, there's the water. Great. Now I'll never convince Torbus to remain aboard Harbinger. These labs are run by a brute of a bug named Tarsus. Another of Harbinger's fiends. From all accounts, he's a real piece of work. It seems he picked himself up quite a reputation during the war. And I've got a sinking feeling I'm going to discover whether or not this reputation is deserved. So now we know what happened to Ballister's second Colobine. I'm gonna have to have a talk with Smiley. First he brings a shuttle down practically on top of me. Now he has me risk my neck for a meet and greet with the scintilla dead. Any more of this help and I'm likely to find myself back in the trash heap. So Wick was right. The submissive are experimenting on goo beasts. Time to grab what I came for and find a way out of here. Just what I've been looking for. This is going to be easier than I thought. Not just a quick grab and Tarsus will never even know that Forget that last part. Alms Guardian stand before me. The vicious mix of Simicidae cunning and Gooby's durability. A new species of superbug. Twins, Croton and Capra. So this is on. At last we meet face to... Home. Whatever. The death of Ballister will tear Scintilla society apart at the seams. About half as fast as that key is going to tear this ship apart. It's time to head back to the junction and grab my friends. It's time to head home. Silas. Uncle Wick. Silverbacks. It seems the Overlord has decided to take a personal hand of things. I've brought this in myself. Now it's time to finish it. I was wondering when Faraday would make his appearance. I guess it's time to see if all the scintilla prophecies are going to come true. Or if I'm finally going to catch a break. Second chances are funny things, you know. They sneak up on you when you least expect them. I failed much in my life. But I did not fail this time. I did not fail when it counted. The Overlord lies dead. Harbinger devours itself beneath my feet. There's nothing left here for me now. It's time to move on. I'll let you in on a secret. Today isn't really a holiday. I'm not even sure what day today really is. Down here in Torvis Junction, nobody seems to concern themselves with days at all. 
But seeing as everyone's been so glum since Leisha left, I figure a holiday's just what the doctor ordered. Look around if you don't believe me. There's Ona sitting like a lump, tapping away, waiting for his fortune to just stroll in off the umbilical. Torvus isn't a whole lot better. He's been poking at that same stupid weapon since, well, since a long time ago. This place needs a jump start before we all start gathering dust. This place needs a holiday. Well, now we know why the Jared's Hold boys haven't checked in. How am I going to break this to Torvis? He's already been a mess since Alicia left. This might put him over the edge. Little Wick. Still living the dream. Somehow he and Silas managed to get out of the game with enough wand to retire on. It just goes to show how far a lifetime of hard and dangerous work can get you. If there's anyone on this ship that can appreciate a good holiday, it's Wick. This is not good. Dead Vantir. Fresh centilla blood. No corpse. Foe's been taken. They couldn't have gotten far. This is definitely not good. The Vantir are expanding again. If I were a betting girl, I'd wager foes somewhere on the other side of that portal. I guess it's up to me to pull him out of this mess. One, two, three. Yep, that's a lot of ants here. <laughs> There's foe, just like Wick said. And just like Wick said, I'm too late. I can feel the rage choking up in my throat. They will pay for this. They will all pay. The surprises just keep coming, don't they? Everybody's favorite little princess has finally returned. Terrific. Now I get to be the one to break the news about Foe to her. To convey his last words. Maybe she knows something about the gladiator that snatched him. Or why he was taken. Or why the Vantir had him executed instead of enslaved. So this is my little present. I didn't even know Harbinger still had functional shuttles. Still, I should let Smiley know. The next time he's feeling generous, a girl always appreciates flowers. The next generation gladiator model. He looks two steps off the assembly line. Not a scratch on him. That's easily remedied. I don't want to see what left those marks, but they're still fresh. And knowing my luck, these Santilla were only an appetizer. The Columbine's lifeless eyes stare through me. The shock takes a moment to register. Magnificent. The energy of this place courses through me like something, something alive, indescribable. If this is going to be our new home, then count me in. So this is the future of Ages 9. When Harbinger pulls away, this place will be left to the bugs. I'd better take care of this problem now, while they're still young and squishy. There appears to be enough water here to keep everyone happy. Now maybe Ona won't have an excuse for that smell. I don't know what Torvis expects me to find here. It's not like the bugs are going to have a big sign flashing human brains here. Oh. Simicide raids are the best. Nothing breathes life into a bad day like squishing bugs. Of course, there may be some unpleasantness if I get caught. These labs are run by a particularly nasty bug named Tarsus. If half his reputation is earned. I'm going to have to watch my step from here on in. 
So Wick was right. The Simicid are experimenting on Gubis. Time to grab what I came for and find the nearest exit. Just what I've been looking for. And still no sign of Tarsus. I had half hoped he wasn't real. Just a fabrication to scare outsiders away from these labs. No such luck. If I take a hit on one of those blades, this is going to be a really short trip. The twins, Croton and Capra. This is the new face of Simicidae. A ravenous combination of insect tenacity and Gooby's durability. If the Simicidae aren't stopped, we're going to have a whole lot more to deal with than just these two. While Am lies asleep, sleep, sleeping, the Columbine comes a creep, creep, creeping. Rest well, Smiley. The death of Ballister will tear us until a society apart at the seams. About half as fast as that key is going to tear this ship apart. It's time to head back to the junction and grab my friends. It's time to head home. Here are the little monkeys Leisha wanted. Safe and sound. I hope she doesn't expect me to play wet nurse for him when we get to ages nine. They are kind of cute though. Silas. Wick. Silverbacks. I see the Overlord has decided to take a personal hand in things. I've brought this on myself. Now it's time I finished it. I'll let you in on a secret. Today isn't really a holiday. But it should be. The Overlord lies dead. All around me, Harbinger devours itself. My friends await me in paradise. No, today isn't a holiday. But tomorrow will be. Tomorrow definitely will be.